most hated on the Mason and Ireland Reddit page. They've been obsessed with like no other since 2022. Here's Chris Morales. 118 in the Southland on a live imaging Tuesday. You yes. hear that, Reddit? Now, see, that's something only you guys got. Yeah. That's not for the other shows. No, that's you're special. Right. You're right. You're the king of Reddit. Johnny I on this Lakers play in Tuesday is live inside the Smoothie King Center, where we will find out tonight if the Lakers will tank or not in the 7-8 play-in game. Yeah. I hope not. Coverage at 3 o'clock with Slee. Then John and Michael have your play-by-play at 4.30 p.m. on 7.10 a.m. and on the all-new ESPN LA app. John? Yes, Chris. I have something. Before we get into the other fun and frivolity oh, play today. Yeah. Here we yeah. go. We teased it yesterday. While mm-hmm. you were away, Mace, and while John was on the road, yes. we conducted many, many meetings, research studies. Really? Tabulating and touching the people across the South Oh, Lake. interesting. And okay. we've come to a finding. Okay. Like I like to say, sometimes you just need a shot of Botox and things. Changes are coming? Sometimes change is good. Play the tape, Brian Cohen. Oh, no. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. A city known for never aging. Tux, lifts, augmentation, Botox. True. It's well known that sometimes greatness just needs a little fresh coat of paint to freshen things up. As Mason and Ireland celebrates their 20th year at ESPN LA, it could use a shot of Botox in the name. Maybe putting a championship first. A man that is called a championship. In a year we all thought we wanted to forget, the Lakers give us something to remember forever. Their 17th NBA championship. The Lakers are the world champions. After hours and hours of research with the people of the Southland, introducing a new name for a legendary show. When I ask what's next, it means I'm ready to move on to other things. So, what's next? Starting Monday at 1 p.m. Starting Monday at 1 p.m. The The John John Ireland Show. (laughs) Featuring corporate Greg Bergman (laughs) and Steve Mason. I mean, I think it's got a good ring to it. Sure. I mean, am I even necessary? If Greg is the wait, A and wait, Br- Mason no, John's got the A. Mason got mentioned after Greg. <laughs> yes. Yeah. John uh, in this is the A. That's a little cold. Greg's the B. You're the C. And I go over to Sam where Greg does. No, and you I sit. Produce? You sit where I sit. Sit where you sit. Yeah. And there's three of us in here. John midweek presented an opportunity for us to pull the old switcheroo. So now I think it's you versus me. Or maybe uh, it's, it's you in Ireland versus I, me. Here's the thing. I thought we had, like, buried the hatchet. We were Did, we I didn't were know friends. we had a hatchet. We went on uh, at the whiskey. No, you didn't let him in the jacuzzi. Yeah, see? That's not, that's not hat. Although he claims Juan said it was okay. He did. I believe that. I don't. The John Juan Ireland drunk. Show. It's got a nice ring to it. The John Ireland Show with Corporate Greg and Steve Mason. Sure. Yeah. I, I, Ireland. Ireland. Uh, okay. So... No, does, it doesn't have a ring like this. Mason. There you go. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Okay. Regarding this other thing, this this feud going on between me and Morales. Yes. Do <laughs> I'm about to pull back the curtain here. Oh, do, boy. Do people not understand that this whole thing is a bit? Oh, come on. It's oh, not boy. a bit. <laughs> I think they want to believe it's not. We have been, Chris and I have been texting and working on this bit for three weeks. Really? Well, it of creates course. engagement. When, have, when else has listeners ever talked about who's going to be the A or the B? Oh, yeah. here I was thinking it was all real and genuine you were. and honest. <laughs> and I, no, told, I, told, I told Ireland we were going to have Momo in the, on Wednesday in, in the A chair. It was a whole Greg, thing. Greg, did you notice how agreeable I've been to no matter what you've asked? Yeah, you're like, I, yeah. Yeah, it's because Chris and I have been pulling strings on this for three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> it is true. By the way, how, Momo was good as the because the thing about Momo she was fine. is she was fine, but my, John had to steer the content. My mom had an interesting review of Momo on the show. Oh, really, Donna? What'd she say? She said, "Ramona says so many words." <laughs> 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 Which is the truest isn't thing ever what, spoken. Isn't that what we're paying her to do? <laughs> it is. But she's her words per minute rate is really, really high. I, she's an innings eater. We yeah, like that about her. An innings eater. That's a good way to well, start. Well, that was it. fun and frivolity. Yeah, I like that, man. That yeah. was good. Good so like way to people, start. Like people last night, Chris was basically explaining to listeners. People were tweeting, like, some guy came after Laura. Okay. Oh, that's, and, yeah. And Which, by the way, is the quickest way to get blocked. Yep. But. So Chris wrote to this guy, what are you doing? Why are you coming after Laura? And he said, well, I really, the guy I really don't like is Ireland. And, uh, and so Chris said, well, you know, this thing with me in Ireland, it's a bit. And the guy still didn't believe it. No. Okay, no, 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 not a bit. 
I go, okay. They want to believe that you guys hate me as much as they do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I and they only not. hate me because we do a bit that you guys hate me. Yeah. So they we, buy you to the bit. There you go. Well, you guys, I got to go run in the other room. Chris, office. I would, right. say, I would say in many ways you and I have never been better. I don't, I think so. I think that that's true. Ever since we had the great dinner sit down the, a few the, years ago at the at TRB. The, uh, TRB, yeah. Well, you really took the air out of this feud. Well, well, you and I can feud if you want. Feud. You, no, you want me feud to feud, feud with you? Is it my turn to feud with I'll be <laughs> back in about 10 minutes. Okay, I'll, I'll work there up. You, you guys t- talk about if the Lakers are going to yeah. tank tonight. All right. Hey, Irvin Magic Johnson has tweeted, John. What did he say? It's a very complex tweet by Magic standards. <laughs> What's he saying? He says, I want the Lakers to beat the Pelicans tonight to secure the number seven seed and face the Nuggets. Even though the Lakers lost their four matchups against the Nuggets, games two, three, and four were all close. It's ridiculous that I've been hearing people think they should intentionally lose to face the winner of the Kings, Warriors, and eventually the Thunder. As a true competitor, you always have to win. To be the best, you have to beat the best. All right, you want somebody who's – that? now, he obviously is opposite of your position. He must be listening. He must have heard me say this, right? Well, he was in town because he spoke to the Dodger crowd before Jackie Robinson night last night. And, by the way, we'll get to the Dodgers. They're reeling. But the thing about uh, Magic is he – you know, he played in the NBA. So guys who play are never afraid of the other team, no matter right, what your right. record is against them. But you know who has come out in staunch support of the Mason plan? Who's that? Surprisingly, in my opinion. Who? Bill Simmons. Bill Simmons. Bill Simmons says that Oklahoma City cannot beat the Lakers in the first round. I agree with that, by the way. That the Lakers should do whatever it takes to get Oklahoma City in the first round because they'll steamroll them. Yeah. And, but I, I still say you can't play with your food. Uh, I, I play with my food all the time. I think playing with your food is you very bad. underrated. Of course you play with your food. I do eat bad. Uh, Bergman, where are you on this? Should if, if if Greg, if you could control the result tonight, and let's say you no one knew, but you you could determine the result, what would you go with? I'm winning. I'm winning yeah, me too. every single time, no matter what. I don't know what's going to happen on Friday. And the, those teams on Friday, like the Warriors can get hot at any moment and put up 26 threes and beat you from behind the arc any single time. DeMontis Sabonis owns Anthony Davis and the Lakers at the last 10 times they played each other. I don't want to see either one of those teams. I know we can beat You'd rather them. see Denver. I'd, well, you're going to see Denver at some point. Why not make it in the first yeah. round? See, if, I, you want, if you want to get to the championship, the whole goal is to get to the championship – you have to face Denver at some point. Do I think they're going to tank? No. Do I? Th- am I going to be upset if they lose? Not at all. Uh, I I kind of feel like being dead honest yeah. that I'm in a can't lose situation. Tonight. I mean, I yeah. I think what are the Lakers favored tonight? No, no. Uh, uh, New Orleans by one and a half. Okay. And I, I think that's because they're at home. Normally you get three points for being at home. Yeah, right. So technically the Lakers are favored. But, the, but if you want to bet. And remember, Mace, I always talk about this. When you set a betting line. Yep. Your objective when you set the betting line is to get people to bet. So by setting the line at Pelicans by one and a half, everybody looks at that and goes, oh, I, I get the Lakers and points. Right. So they get a ton of action on the Lakers that way. But I think, and I don't know if you guys agree, I'm curious if you do, I think the Pelicans are going to play much better tonight. I do not think this will be a one-sided blowout. I think this will be very close. I give New Orleans a coin flip chance to win it. And I think the Lakers, I, I think that they got embarrassed here on Sunday. Yeah. And they're going to come out a lot stronger and could win. What do you guys think? Um, I, I don't think it will look like Sunday at all. I don't think it'll look like Sunday. But I, and by the way, I've got the line down to one point. Well, it was one and a half before, so that that just means that all the money's coming in on the Lakers. Why yeah, wouldn't it look like in. it did on Sunday? By the way, they it looked like that in the IST when LeBron was playing full force. Yeah, uh, but on New Year's Eve, Craig, after we embarrassed him in the in the IST, mm-hmm. the next game we played against him was here on New Year's Eve, yeah. and they blew the doors off of when us. they were they playing be- terrible. The no, Lakers no, they were playing. Play- the Lakers were playing terribly after the IST. Right. I think the Lakers are going to win, but I do not think it will be like Sunday. I do not think they'll go up by 32. Like and by the way, I also Sunday. don't think it's going to, it should be especially discouraging to people if they lose tonight. I agree with you. Then you just circle the wagons and try and win Friday. By the way, who do you think is winning the other game? I got the Warriors. I got the Warriors, too. 
Yeah, the Warriors. Nobody has any faith in Sacramento, even though they're at home. Nope. No Herder, no um, Malik Monk. 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 Yeah, that's, yeah. You know, that's a that's a big loss. But they when they played the third time that the Lakers and Pelicans played, the Lakers beat them pretty good and put up 133 or 139 points. Scored 87 points. first half points. Yeah, they can score on this team when they're playing at their highest level, which they were on Sunday, which they were in the IST, and which they were starting to get there when they played the third time. They put up points on this team. And I think the big thing is they have absolutely nobody that can slow down Anthony Davis. Absolutely nobody on their roster. Yeah, I, I haven't seen AD today. I assume he's good to go. Um, his back locked up at the end of the game on yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Uh, here's some good news. There's one player here shooting right now. Early. Okay. One. I could give you guys ten guesses and you wouldn't get it. I can give you ten guesses and I'll tell you what team he plays for. Okay. He plays for the Lakers. Okay. You get, you get ten guesses. Who is it? Max Christie. Oh for one. Uh, is it a starter, or I mean, is it on like? Uh, is he in the rotation? I just gave you the team. Okay. You went, uh, no, 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 in the in the rotation. Tari and Prince. Oh for two. Well, it, if, what if it's the moment like Max Lewis? Um, it's not Max Lewis. Oh for three. No, I didn't make the guess. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, D'Lo. Oh for four. I mean, we have one. to do the obvious of What'd LeBron. Oh what? for five. A D. Oh no. for six. Uh, Austin Reeves. Oh for seven. Okay, so we got the uh, D'Lo. No, I said D'Lo. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You're saying. Well, yeah, I'm, 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 sit, I'm saddling you with another loss because you guessed twice. Oh my it, God! Oh oh for eight. We're deep into this roster now. Rui Hachimura. Oh for nine. So now this is not a guess. Okay. Mace, you have to get, you have to pick between guys like Gabe Vincent. Yeah, Gabe um, Vincent. He's Jackson, hurt, Jackson probably. Hayes. Jackson Hayes. No, he's not hurt. He's no I mean he's, he's probably, probably, probably going to be. Going to be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your last Jared guess? Jared Vanderbilt. Yeah, that's Vando. Your, that, Let's go, that's Vando. Your guess? Vando. Oh for ten. Oh. You have not even mentioned him. He, he, Who is Colin Castleton? No. Oh for eleven. <laughs> wow. Uh, Laura, we, you want to guess? We're so no, deep into this Vanderbilt. roster I had Vando. now. Who, who are we missing? Should I tell you? Or we, you want to keep guessing? Wait a minute. We, Ryan, we, we you hit, how can we be missing one? Oh, we know no, this no, roster. We are Spencer Dinwiddie. There it is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it only took twelve Jeez. guesses. <laughs> yeah, he's newer. He's I newer. Told, okay. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't get it if I gave you ten Damn. guesses. Yeah. Uh, all right, you mentioned Dodgers reeling. Why don't we do that coming up next? Tyler Glass now got lit up last night, and they've made some changes as of today. Yeah, yeah. I want to get into this with you guys because I, I don't know. I know nobody's panicking, but maybe we should be. Okay, we'll do that coming up next. Hey, uh, I want you guys to experience experience the thrill of the world's largest poker room right now in the heart of Los Angeles. The World Series of Poker is coming to the Commerce Casino and Hotel on May the 10th through the 24th. You can take in the first WSOP ring event outside of Las Vegas in 2024. Uh, details at CommerceCasino.com. I play there all the time. And I played there Sunday, and I, I told the story yesterday, but I won my last three hands, including my last one, where I had absolute garbage and and bluffed my way through it. Uh, if you go to the Commerce, you can expect uh, all kinds of great stuff, including great food. Uh, the staff is fantastic. Uh, beautiful hotel rooms. Uh, and the Commerce Casino and Hotel is the home for Mandy's Three this coming June. Commerce Casino, 6131 Telegraph Road in Commerce. For more info, visit CommerceCasino.com. That's CommerceCasino.com. And I will see you at the Commerce, Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. You never have to miss a moment of L.A.'s mega sports station. Mega sports station. Get the all-new ESPN LA app. Just search ESPN LA in your app store or Google Play. Download, tap, and bam. bam. You got 710 ESPN in the palm of your hand.
25 minutes in front of 2 o'clock on a Wild Imaging Tuesday on Mason and Ireland. She would have been 53 today. Happy birthday to the one and only Selena. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chris, why was Travis calling her Selena? Oh, no. I don't know, but that's not good if he was. Selena. Yeah, he, yeah. Selena. Selena. Yeah. 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 I think he was trying to be Hispanic. Well, Travis probably shouldn't try to do that. Oh, it is yeah. the actual pronunciation. It's Selena, right? Selena. But yeah. probably not gr- His pronunciation probably wasn't great, is John's point, I think. Selena. Yeah. White guys should pronounce it Selena. Right? No, no, no. Every time. Everybody yeah, you should, should. Every time. Really? You, as you're, if you're white, just say Selena. You you're can't fine. say Selena? No, you sound ridiculous. No, you sound like a guy trying to be Wait Hispanic. A minute. Like Wait a minute. No, that's the actual pronunciation. Laura, is that What ridiculous? a great way to remember her. It's today. Selena. <laughs> <laughs> Selena. <laughs> right, but when massively white people like me and Mason say Selena... We sound ridiculous. Well, I think it's, well, I mean, clearly we can't ask her, but there's people that always ask me, do you prefer Laura or Laura? And to me, it's whatever, whatever is comfortable with you and you can pronounce, I'm okay, as long as you don't call me something out of pocket. But like some what? Pe- I mean, I don't want to say something out bleep, of pocket. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, no, you know? yeah, yeah. All right, well, anyways, <laughs> uh, salute to uh, the great Selena. So it would have been 53 today. 53. By, By the way, way t- that, mo- that movie's underrated. Yeah, J-Lo, J-Lo did is, a great job. J-Lo is fantastic in that thing, yeah. Real quick, let me yes. tell you about the East Central Hotel, a contemporary hotel with an authentic L.A. vibe located in the heart of downtown L.A. Let's say you're coming here for a game, like a Lakers playoff game over the weekend, right? Yep. And you say, I want to stay somewhere where they got the biggest rooms in downtown. Oh, I want to yeah. be able to spread out all my luggage. Yeah. I want to be able to spread it all out. Well, you've got to go to the East Central downtown L.A. right across from L.A. Live, right across from Crypto.com Arena. The East Central Hotel with that Nixo Lounge right there overlooking Fig. We've we've been there. We did a we, show we've from there. It's there. fantastic. We've had entertainment. Yeah. And more importantly, as our friends at East Central like Entertainment. They like to say entertainment. I love that expression. Uh, hey, Chris and Greg, how did our new morning show go this morning? It was fantastic. Let me just finish the read yeah, real no, quick. Let, let him finish his <laughs> well, I thought you were finished. Yeah, not sorry. yet, not yet. You the never best. know with him. He just rambles. <laughs> Book your next day at eCentralHotel.com or give them a call at 213-748-1291 today. East Central Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. Entertainment's official address. We return to Ireland's question already in progress. We're- yes, now, Chris, you were part of it. Greg, you were part of it. How did it go this morning? Yeah, For people who fun. don't know, Sedano and Cap decided since since the Laker game is covering up their show today, they decided to hijack the uh, unsportsmanlike yeah. show yep. and do seven to ten live this morning. Chris, uh, how did it how was it executed? Did it, it was go well? so fun and enjoyable that I think if we tripled their salary they'd be into doing it. Otherwise it will never seven, happen it's again. It's only seven to ten. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's, it's not like when Mason and I did mornings, we started at five. Yeah, yeah. we started at five. That was With hard. With Bruno, for. I did five to nine. That yeah. was tough. But seven to yeah, ten is not bad. Is too many, just in general. Ireland, do you want to do seven to ten? No, he's at five. Sure, why not? Get it out of the way every day. Yeah, and then we're. Free, I still bro. think you'd want triple the money as well, and that, I, that's also. I tough. do. Well, I do seven to ten. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You would do it for the same money. Uh, yes, <laughs> I actually would. Really? Yeah, I would do it for this. I don't think it You're seems like such a bad deal. at this point. But between 12 and I'm not, 4. I'm not no, saying I, about Mason, this. I'm I just... actually wouldn't. I think we have the ideal time slot. You know why? Hmm. We get to we get our mornings off so we can do whatever we want. Right. In my case, it normally means golf. golf. In your case, it normally means sleep. Sleep, yeah. Podcasts. Um, and then we're off at dinner. Yep. And so we could do stuff at night. We have we have the preferred time slot for me. Now, when you did mornings, when you guys did mornings, John, did you play after you got off the air a lot? Sometimes, but not as much as I do now. Because sometimes you're gassed when you get off the air. Yeah, it's tough. Y- yeah, and sometimes I didn't sleep the night before. No, I just it, stayed out all night. Listen, we love Evan Canty and Michelle. They're going to be on this radio station for a long time. Yes, they are. But it was fun to do it. For me, it was fun to get back on the wheels of steel. I love doing mornings. I did mornings way back when with my father. I did it with Key. I did it with Bruno. I've done it with a lot of people. Was so, it zany? Was it wacky? It was very zany, very, very wacky. Much I so. jumped out of bed at 345, got on the train. I was excited to do today. I'm exhausted now. So You got up at 345 for a 7 o'clock show? Uh, Always. Well, well you no, got a train. My train was at 448. 448? Yeah. What are you doing with your life, man? 448 is like Chris, a I'm rumor right there to with me. You. I've never been awake at 448. Get up. Seize the day. People yeah. to see. Places well, to go. Things to Give do. me that noon train. I just want to tell you, there's nobody that I've ever seen have as much energy as Chris did when he walked into the studio. Six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. He's bouncing off the wall. Yeah, and there, no, was, no, and there was no perico. That was just yeah. caffeine. Really? Just uh, coffee? Yeah. Huh? Just coffee these mm, days. You know? Interesting. Yeah. Brian, you should sit down with Morales on the board sometime because he was killing it. 
Wow. Absolutely. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> so what are you trying to say to Brian? I love Brian. I love Brian. You're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm live imagery too. Brian, I hope you're renting. <laughs> Apparently, the manager of audio operations no, wants to replace I, you. I, Brian, I, I talk it's, to Brian all the time. Right. I love it. It's okay. Brian. We've been getting it. You know, I, I, uh, I mean, I've been getting to it get too. It. So it's okay. Mason so, in Ireland continues right now. So, Ireland, you are just. Uh, you, you think the Dodgers are absolutely I'm reeling. Okay, I'm down on them. And, and, and here's my question for the two of you, because you pay closer attention to them than I do. Mm-hmm. Um, at what point, and I'll fully admit that on April 16th, it is way too early. You to think panic. it's too early? S- Maybe six, a little bit, 19 uh, games 16th, into the season. Yeah. But they have lost four out of five. Yep. They have eight wins, the same amount of wins as the Mets, and they have like a, a payroll three times the size of the they Mets. They have 11 wins. Uh, well, they have eight losses. Eight losses. Okay, about. got it. Uh, they're eleven and eight, right? Yep. yep. Okay. So, at what point, if they're twenty-two and sixteen, are we okay with that? Yeah, that's uh, probably still going to win the division. Twenty-two and sixteen. Six, game, six games above five hundred is going to yeah. win the division. Yeah. This early? That's fine. Yeah. No, that may that, that would only be eighty-eight wins. I mean, right? But we're talking about pace. You're, you're talking about whether to panic at twenty. What was no, your record? When I'm saying when does it become. At what point on the calendar do you say, okay, we got a problem? All-star right now, break. All-star yeah. break. There's plenty of time. And they have to so, have a losing record at the all-star break for, to panic. Do, this team? Yeah. If this team was 500 at the all-star break, you wouldn't panic? No. No. Don't care. I would. All I care about is October. Yep. I don't care what they do in July. Get into September. the playoffs. I just want them to get into the playoffs as soon as they get into there. It should hopefully all work out. Yeah. Like if they in, get in, in the with 93 wins, I'm totally fine. I and think they're going to win more, but I, if they get in with 92 wins, 91 wins, I'm going to be fine. All right. If on, they a go in with one, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, let me throw some specific issues at you. Okay. All right. Spots 7, 8, and 9 in the lineup offensively. What's Dead. your level of concern? Uh, here's the interesting part of that. The Dodgers are going to call up a guy named Andy Pajas, uh, who is a Cuban player mm-hmm. who was tearing up AAA and – could he be in the lineup he tonight? He is going to he be. He is going to be in the lineup tonight. 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 Yes. Out yeah, in, what position? Probably left field. Out in stays right in center. Field, he, I, would, I would assume right field. Right field. He's a center field and a right field. I don't know exactly, but it it looks. I would assume that T. Oscar goes back to left. Right, and the lineup's not out yet. No. Okay, so this is kind of the same question, but I'm going to assign specific names to it. Okay. okay, your level of concern for Chris Taylor and Gavin Lux um, combined. I, I am a Gavin Lux you, believer. So go I, separate them. Oh, Chris Taylor is Chris Taylor. I mean, he's going to strike out a lot. That's what Chris Taylor does. But he's also very clutchy, can come up with a big hit in a key moment, especially in the postseason. So Taylor is a dead spot in the lineup right now. I think Gavin Lux is still going to break out this year. Absolutely going to break out. Absolutely will not break out this will year. Will break out. No, my Maybe my level, John, to answer your question, level concern for Gavin Lux is a 10. Um, maybe let me, maybe add, nine let me and a half. Add James, let me add James Outman. No, James Outman had a nice little run the last week. Out, or so. Outman's. I've I've much more confidence in Outman because he's hitting the ball very very hard every at bat for the most part. He's just hitting it at guys right now, and he's starting to find hit after hit. I think he's got like a five game hitting streak right now. I don't know if that's exactly right, but he's, he has a couple home runs in his last five games. Yep. he got in on base yesterday with yeah. a hit when he yeah. came in. Uh, he's he's hitting the. Yeah. He's starting to find his place at the in the play and by the way is a really good yeah. I, I think handles center field really well too yeah, he, he did it on sunday but for the most part yes, yeah he does. yeah that play on sunday yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah exactly uh the other thing john is they're calling up another starting pitcher um well they have to right because bobby miller went on the dl exactly this guy's name is landon knack and uh one of their top prospects he's yeah he's probably their prized pitching prospect um he had a 251 ERA last year in 22 starts between double and triple. Do you think when he comes AAA. in to pitch, they'll play songs from the Knack? They should. Yeah, my Sharona. There it's a go. good playup song. <laughs> uh, so Dina rules gonna... all over that. You all know right, that. last last one. What's your level of concern for the back end of the bullpen? The guys who pitch in in innings seven, eight, and nine. Zero. Yeah, I actually think it's misleading. Wait, Greg, you can't say zero. Every yes, time Alex Messi comes in, your blood pressure goes well, you, up. Well, you said the back end of the bullpen, seven, eight, and nine. But he's and part that's, of that. No, he's not. Most like it's normally the closer is is Evan Phillips, and you have Joe Kelly and uh, Daniel Hudson, and then sometimes Ryan Brazier in those in those four spots at the end. Brazier gave up a hit the other day, but for the most part, those four guys have been solid. Kelly only had one bad outing. Yeah, that's the one thing about Kelly. Bergman showed me this the other day. It's really one 
bad start that gave him a six ERA or whatever yep. it is. He's had five clean innings since then. So, it's yeah, the I mean, other guys, the JP Fireisens and the Connor Brogdens that you never heard. Those guys are the ones giving up. Runs. The guy they called well, up and pitched and Vezia. Vezia and Michael Grove is getting smacked. The guy they too. called up uh, yesterday. Uh, Venasco, Ricky Venasco, was actually really good last night. He's actually crazy to He's all arms and legs. <laughs> right. Super skinny and guy, stash. and it's all arms and legs coming at you. I thought pretty good. And pretty another, good last another night. Another guy that was really good last night, too, was Nick Ramirez. Yeah. He, and that's a lefty, a left-hander that they got from the Yankees. And he, it's, if you don't want to put uh, Alex Vesey out there, a lefty, you put Nick Ramirez out there, yeah. nothing in his three outings, in right. his three innings. Right. So there's another guy. Don't worry, John. All right, too, too early, early to panic in any way. Too early to freak out. Too early. Yeah. Um, all right, we're going to spin the wheel of questions coming up next. Uh, we're going to do What's Up Fool at 2, I think, today. Yep. And Game of Games, is Jacob going to come in today? Yes, he is. Uh, Jacob and Ronnie will be here for Game of Games at 2.45. All coming up for you as we get ready for Lakers Pelicans at the Smoothie Center, or whatever the hell that place is called. Uh, no, you got it. <laughs> the Smoothie you know, Center? You, smoothie I, King. Yeah, I get a smoothie... As when you work here, they bring you a smoothie during the game. Oh, that's a nice free. bonus. Do they really? Very nice bonus. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Um, all right, so we got the game. Smoothie? Got the game wait, coming wait, wait, up whatever, for you. Whatever time you ask for. Uh, <laughs> Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. All right, did you know it can take up to 11 weeks on average to hire for an open position? If you are hiring, that's almost two and a half months. You don't have that kind of time. If you're listening today, stop waiting and start using ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter can help you find qualified candidates for all your roles fast and right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash LA. ZipRecruiter uses powerful matching technology to quickly find and send you the most qualified people for your roles or as my guy Ian Siegel the inventor of ZipRecruiter says they don't leave anything to chance. You can check out the people ZipRecruiter sends you if you like one or two you can invite them to apply with one click. Here's how fast it works. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within one day. So speed up your hiring process with ZipRecruiter. Go to that exclusive web address to use it for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash L.A. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash L.A. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. The most followed sports radio station.
Yeah, I was. What were you about to say? Yeah, say it. Well, no, he can't say it. Can't say it now. <laughs> we were talking about David Koresh. And yeah, I David know. Koresh. I know Eight minutes in front of 2 o'clock. It is hot in here somewhere. <laughs> it's a yeah. live imaging Tuesday. It is also a Lakers play-in Tuesday. Yeah. Made possible by our friends at Mikimov Ultra. Mikimov Ultra. 2.6 carbs, 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. You know what you enjoy each day around this time? Time for Wheel of Questions. Producer BC, Brian Cohen. Spin that wheel, sucker. All right, guys. I love the music, by the way. Hot in here. One of my favorite songs. So this actually isn't for me, but it landed on this question. Hmm. I had a few. Okay. So my cousin was overloading her IG stories with her son's hamster. At the end, she posted a question. It's, it said, should I lie to my little man that, and tell him that his hamster died? Or should oh. I buy a replacement hamster that's, and not oh. let him know? And not tell him. And not tell him. Oh, kind of that's a, a good question. Yeah. So I know some of you guys don't have kids, okay? But how would you handle this situation for the ones that do? Or did your parents ever do the switcheroo? You know, we're talking about switcheroos to you guys. No, this, uh, the switcheroo, Laura, does not work. And you need to look no farther than the classic movie Meet the Parents when Ben Stiller <laughs> tries to spray paint <laughs> Jinx the cat's tail and he gets caught. Yes. And Mace, I would like to remind you that cats don't have thumbs, Father. Yes, true. Um, <laughs> now, uh, so I, I think you, you uh, kids got to learn about death sooner or later. If the hamster dies, replacement hamster, but you get a new name and tell them that the first one went to hamster heaven. Aw. That's a tough message for a little kid. I Yeah, he's little. He's like four. He's four. No, replace four the hamster. Five. He's four years old, John. That's too young to learn about death. Get uh, a secret hamster. Stealth him hamster. The with it. Throw him into the deep end without his floaties. Yeah. So hamster I'm, heaven. I'm actually with Ireland for that for a hamster. He's four. For, for a hamster, you're going to notice the difference. You're not going to get the exact Oh, sure. You can hamster. match hamsters. No, no, no. Hamsters all look alike. You can take the dead hey, hamster Mace. to the pet shop. Correct. And no, find no, one that looks no, no, no. like him. Mace, if you get a hamster to replace him and you go with your plan, just spray paint him. Oh, sure. There you go. Yeah. So, but I have done this before. I didn't do it with a hamster. I did it with the betta fish. And oh, oh they're can, mean. Beta, Be- aren't betta fish the ones that attack? The, if you put two of them in there together, they'll yes, attack, they, they each, will other, attack right? each other. They'll attack each other. Yeah, they leave them. You leave them alone. Right. But I did it a couple times with Riley, and she eventually realized that it, that was what you happened. You need an identical upset. betta fish. I mean, it, th- it went through like four betta fish for this kid. Yeah, I mean, find the right betta fish. Kids yeah. are smarter than we give them it, credit for. Yeah. That's the kids the ham- are not smarter. The kids are not smart. Yeah, she if you looked- tell the kid the hamster died and get him a new one, he'll no, start playing with the new one. It. it was the exact, you- exact same coloring, and she looked at it and said, something's off with this. This doesn't look like my betta fish. Well, and you exactly. just say, it is, it's, and you move on you with Of course you do, life. but yeah. at the same time, you can't do it a second time. Brian, identical hamster. Oh, yeah, all the way. There you go. That or like a goldfish, it would work. Yeah, goldfish totally works. That one's easy. It's the same as a betta fish, though. It's, yeah. 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 Well, they're different colors and different like, but, oh, but at fins least, and all that. At least goldfish are all orange. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it's all the way through. All orange they're all the same. Yeah. There's some orange and white ones. Oh, are there? Yeah, you got to yeah. watch out if you're replacing a goldfish. <laughs> Be careful on your replacement fish. All right, there you go. The thing I was going to do doesn't make any sense, I don't think. Uh, well, why not? It doesn't make sense. Ireland. I mean, okay, uh, we're going to do What's Up Fool in a minute. Do your yeah. thing, Ireland, then I'll do my thing. Okay. What? What's my thing? Oh, this is great. Good job, Mason. <laughs> yeah, no, we're smooth today. <laughs> uh, your thing is Toyota. Yeah, and then and then Mason will talk tell about us about Cal Mesa. Yeah. Do you have it? I... I was told I was doing it at the end, so this I need is, this to. This is the end. This is the end of the segment? Yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah. 710 <laughs> ESPN. Yeah. Well, then allow me <laughs> to talk about your Southern California Toyota dealers. Can we, Greg, can we just end the two spots in one break? No, we can't. Why not? Because we have so many spots. Let's just read spots for an hour. No. 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 <laughs> All right. Southern California Toyota dealers, uh, really, for as long as I can remember, uh, have been with the Lakers. 48 years, Southern California Toyota dealers and the Lakers have been in business together. Uh, because of that, you Toyota dealers' quality, reliability, and simply the best vehicles on the road are available to you year-round. And right now, brand new inventory waiting for you. You can choose from an amazing selection of cars, trucks, crossovers, SUVs and EVs, all you got to do is see your Southern California Toyota dealers or visit toyota.com. Toyota, we make it 
Easy. I love how you made it so the whole thing was so smooth and seamless. That's what I like. I've stated what I think we should do. You have rejected it. It was like the Lee Harvey Oswald prison transfer. Well handled. Yes. All right. So let me tell you about something completely different. If you are struggling right now, if you're having a hard time, if you're depressed, if you're anxious, if you feel overwhelmed at work or you're having trouble with your relationship or any of that stuff, uh, you want to call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. They've got uh, emotional support, service referrals, and crisis counseling. And seriously, you can use this helpline at any time. 800-854-7771. If you're struggling, you need somebody to talk to. 800-854-7771. 24-7. Or you can visit their website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Your mental health is their priority. Let them be your support on this journey together. Let's shape a brighter tomorrow with hope and recovery and well-being. Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. Coming And Michelle. Now, morning, 6 to 10 a.m. on LA's Mega Sports Station, 710 ESPN. KSPN Los Angeles, a good karma brand's radio station. Two o'clock in the Southland. On a live imaging Tuesday on 710 ESPN, Mason and Ireland remembering. Say it, Mace. Turn your mic Selena. on. Selena. Selena, Selena, whichever you want. She would have turned 53 today. Of course, the talent gone way too soon. Yeah, way too soon, for sure. Some good news. Yeah. Live Imaging Tuesday is now presented by our friends at Kia of Downtown L.A. Get out of here, really? Really? Amazing. The big spring deals continue at Kia of Downtown L.A. Lease the dynamic 2024 Kia Forte GT for only $265 per month. The big spring deals only at Kia of Downtown L.A. next to the 10 freeway at Fig in Washington in Downtown L.A. Go there. See the GM, Gary. I love Gary over there. He wears a beautiful Rolex watch. Oh, is that right? You walk into his office. You say, hey, sucker, Gary. I want a Kia Forte. Do you literally say, hey, sucker, Gary? Or say, th- hey, Gary, sucker. Okay, I want a Kia way. Forte GT. As either long as you want good. a Kia Forte, I think Gary will answer to it. Yeah. Gary will. Yeah. And tell him Chris Morales sent you over for Live Imaging Tuesday, 710 ESPN. Nice, nice. We're going to oh, do a little oh, what's up. Why do you have that smirk on your face? I, it was a lot smoother than the read you tried to do. Or I didn't. Uh, my read was fine. It was Ireland. No, Ireland didn't screw oh, that Ireland, up. Oh, Ireland, like, it, seriously, he, he just. No, he Mason hijacked the this segment because he, he called an audible and didn't tell anyone else. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Laura told me before the segment, Mason's going first and you're going second. And then Mason, without telling anyone else, just said, Ireland, you go. Well, it doesn't make sense to do mine 
Well, I was in the room when Laura said that. The John, second one what Laura up. was doing with John made yeah. sense, and then you didn't adhere. So then, yeah, then it got oh, hijacked. For the, love of God. the whole thing, the way it was supposed to go, was wheel of questions. You do your Cal Mesa read. We talk a little bit, and then John does his Toyota. Right, but read. there was just no room. None of for those that. things happened. Yeah, none of those things happened. There was happened. room, but there, I'll no, take full breaks don't matter. Of it. It, it was no, a good there, idea. There was a natural hook. Yeah, losing a pet, pet. Cal Mesa. Yeah, you're sad. And Mason bailed on the natural look. <laughs> it's, only a, it's only a hamster. Yeah, that but you lost. Matter. But death I've lost death. dogs, and I cry for days. I'm really he's sad. A and dog shot. is different from a hamster. Don't dogs that, have personalities no, and stuff. Hamsters. Oh, have, you are, you just hate hamsters. Hamsters owners. are just like dirty little Some people own it, who run in a wheel. Some people own snakes, and they love snakes. I'm not a snake either. Cody and the social media team. He's got Python Chuck. He will not weep when the Cody Python goes. Cody way. Lou has a Python? Yeah, yeah, yeah he does. Yeah, he, Chuck. <laughs> yep. he, yeah, good. he needs to bring it in sometime. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, that won't violate he any should. HR rules. He should. he should. Hell no, I'm not coming in if he does. Me neither, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, by the way, I'm not a snake guy either, so uh, I held Cody, a banana not welcome. Snake one. Uh-huh. But a four-year-old lost Heavy. the hamster. That's sad, especially mm. for the four-year-old. Just a hamster. Yeah. No, no. But not for the four-year-old. <laughs> Seriously, have you, you ever seen never, a hamster? You would not make a good father. Have this you ever been around me, a hamster? This reminds me of, of that episode of Curb when Larry comes over to offer condolences. He goes, I heard you lost your father. I'm so sorry to hear. Oh, yeah. And the guy goes, no, it was my father-in-law. And he goes, oh, well, that's oh, not as bad. Not so bad. Hey, not well, so it's, bad. Just a, it's just a hamster. <laughs> Hamsters just a fa- don't, like, cuddle up with you in bed. And it's they not do. that bad. Wait a minute. You th- think people take these little rats into bed with them? The kids do. Hell they yeah. It, there yeah, were a lot of rumors hold. about certain actors back in the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are gerbils. <laughs> Aren't they in the same family? I, I, I mean, it's close. Gerbils are like mini hamsters. Off. No, no, gerbils are like mini hamsters. Yeah. Chris, major kudos for you. And they, by the way, there. and they don't do awesome. they don't do the things that are said in that urban legend. I've never tried, but I want to. I'm sure you do. Meanwhile, it is time. What's it? What is time for? What's up? Fool? What's it's time up? for what's up? Fool? Fool is brought to you by Dos Hombres Mezcal. It's fate. It's friendship. It's mezcal. Dos hombres. Take it away, Corporate Greg. <laughs> now take it away, Producer Laura. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll take it away. All right, you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of the Clippers. Yes. But I am a huge fan of what they did for their fans yeah, on really the last cool. day, which was on Sunday against the Rockets. Ballmer, I mean, he has money for days. But Steve Ballmer picked up the tab for the fans that day. And I thought that was really cool. Imagine going to a game and being surprised that you don't have to pay for the concession stands. Like, that's amazing. Things are not, you know, cheap and money's sure. tight. So I love that he did that. And my question to you guys would be how do I know we all kind of give the Clippers a, a little bit of tough love here. Not It's not love. It's just tough. <laughs> okay. Well, we give them some toughness around here. Yes. But wouldn't you, wouldn't you guys want – I – would have hoped maybe the Lakers could have done that the last, you know, the, like they, they had what was it like? You think a they should fan? have free concession day at the Lakers? Yeah, why not? Why it's not? It's a little hokey for a team with 17 World Championships. Listen, although it fan is free appreciation food. day, okay? It is Just free say. food. Uh, all right, I, I thought it was great what the Clippers did, and I think Ballmer deserves major kudos for that. Um, the only thing I would have changed if I was in the, those Clipper meetings, I would have said, let's give the fans a heads up that we're going to do it. Because this is what happens to me a lot. Like, Greg, how many times a week, at least once a week, when I come in, there's food in the studio. Oh, like yeah. Like somebody, Waba Grill or uh, Pizza Hut or, you know, somebody do it. Sure. Like today, uh, there's there's breakfast burritos and ooh, there's really? tamales and there's ooh. bagels. Right. I didn't and the know. Food is always, the food, frankly, is always really good. But most of the time, I don't know if there's going to be food there, so I'll stop and get food. And I would imagine a lot of those Clipper fans, because concession prices are so high, right? Went, went to the game and they said, well, let's stop and eat first so we don't have to pay the concession prices. And then they get there and find out. So I'm not trying to be critical because I think it's a great thing that he did. But I, I wish he would have tipped the fans off and that way they could have taken more advantage. Did of they it. tip them off at all? No. No, no it's just all of a sudden everything's free. Yeah, yep. which is a great surprise. It is Good a great them. surprise. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. In other words, you promote it in advance. You probably get more credit for it, too. You probably get more people going to the arena, yeah. too. Although they're right. probably full anyway, right? Didn't the yeah, Clippers? Clippers and, by the way, that was the same either. game where Boban missed that free throw yeah. on purpose to get everybody free chicken. Brickin' so for that chicken. Was a, that was a very good Clipper game to attend if you were a Clipper. I it was. You. That was cool. What's up, fool? All right, guys, speaking of the Clippers, Blake Griffin today announced his retirement 14 years in the league. I think it was a six-time All-Star, five-time NBA Rookie of the Year, and that iconic slam dunk champion jumping over the Kia. To me, he's one of the best dunkers in the game, especially growing up more my era. 
where would you guys rank him, or who do you your favorite in-game dunker to watch? Um, he he's right there. He's I, I think Dr. J is the greatest dunker of all time. Yeah. Uh, Blake Griffin is in the top five. Um, top five dunker of all time. Yeah. Vince Carter Vince is probably Carter. number yep. two for me. Yeah. Kobe I, has I, some I would, really good. I would go Dr. Dunks. J, Vince Carter, Dominique Wilkins. Oh yeah. Um, would I put anybody in front of Blake? I'll tell you, you know who's uh, there are a player Zach tonight. Zach Levine's a really Zach good Levine. I I think Zion Williamson when he bounces in and dunks, I think is really good. Would yeah, you put he's Shaq like a up human there? Pogo stick. Well, Shaq's seven feet tall. It doesn't um, matter. He's still. A, a, I mean, it's fun to watch Wemby dunk. Dominant dunker. Yeah. It's fun to watch but Wemby dunk. Gr- Here's the harder question for Blake Griffin. So Brian, you mentioned six time All Star, five times All NBA. Right. Hall of Fame or no? I'm a no. No, I'm no. I think he's right on the bubble. Yeah. It would have helped had he won, like if he had a championship or two. See, that's but, that's the problem with the NBA Hall of Fame. Is that well, there is no gets, NBA Hall of Fame. Right, it's right. the basketball, it's basketball Hall of Fame. fame. Right. If it was, because if you have to think about it, the answer is no, in my mind, for Hall of Fame. If you have to be like, well, maybe, then you're not in. That's a good point. I like that. That's a good yeah. That's yeah, a great but that's not what happens. Like, Michael Cooper got yeah. in this year, and it was like his seventh or eighth Yeah, prime. that's true. I've... I've I've always yeah. thought Michael Cooper deserved to be in, but it just took this long. Fred McGriff Blake, got in in the MLB Hall of Fame this last year. He doesn't deserve it. Yeah, Scott Rowland, same thing. Yeah, exactly. But the uh, I think Blake will get votes, and it will come close to him getting in. Okay. I What's say up, no. Fru? All right, guys. So everybody wants a piece of the WNBA. Serena Williams is no stranger. Yeah. She was interviewed by CNN Sports. And this was a question, and this is what she answered. I think women's sport is having a moment that it should have always had. Could a WNBA team be added to your roster and the ownership stakes? Would you I be know, interested? I know, right? I, I absolutely would be. I think with the right um, market, you know, I think I would definitely be super interested in that. I think out of many women athletes, Serena would be a great owner. What do you guys think? She'd be awesome, and she's also getting a growth stock if she does it. I think it'd be a great time to buy a WNBA Yeah, I agree. Team. Now, what does a WNBA team cost? Like, Good if you question. wanted to try to buy one, what does it cost? Well, it's usually owned by the team that Is owns. it owned by the Lakers or the like Sparks? Like, the Lakers owned by the, Lakers? the Sparks also, they right? They do not. Oh, they do no. not. No, uh, they in did in the beginning, and then several years ago they spun it off. But in Phoenix, uh, like, they own the, the Ishbia. Yeah, owns, Matt Ishbia owns both of them. Yeah. Um, in Chicago, they, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I think in New York, maybe. So do you um, know this Angel City FC, the women's yep. professional uh-huh. soccer yeah. team owned from by the WNBA, right? Mostly owned by women. Women, women. yeah. Oh. Like yeah. Natalie Portman, people like that. Uh, Jessica Chastain. That's great. You know how I much think Jennifer Garner's in on that. They're selling it. How much do you think Angel City FC is worth? All right, I'm going to just guess. Okay. Mm-hmm. $50 million. I'm going to say $250 million. It's 180 million. Oh, yeah. I was close. I was going to say 175. She's worth uh, that team is worth 180 million dollars. Yeah. So I can't imagine WNBA is a step up from that. WNBA oh, t- sure. NBA teams must be of huge value now, uh, especially the you, Indiana Fever. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, if you could get Caitlin Clark, then you're just laughing all the way to the bank. So it's a, you know. I, by the way, I'm so impressed with her. You know, she handled herself great again last night. You know, she's only 22. Oh, is that right? Yeah, wow. and she's she acts like she's she's like super. She's very polished. And yeah, smart. very yeah. polished. Good yeah. for her. What's up, Foo? All right, guys. So most of everybody has seen so far the uh, NBA Olympic team was kind of announced yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was a caveat that I actually didn't know that they also announced a couple weeks ago their three on three roster, and I didn't even know that was. Oh, that's right. Three on three is at the Olympics. It's in an Paris. Olympic sport, yeah. Yeah. right? And their roster that they announced was Jimmer Fredette, Kareem Maddox. Dylan Travis and Cannon Barry, I think the son of Rick Barry. Right. Uh, My question here is, what do you got? Like, what about the guys that were played on this FIBA team last year that aren't going to be on this USA team, like Austin yeah. Reeves? Like, do you think they'd be good in like Anthony a three-on-three? The team? reason they picked that team is that those guys have been playing three-on-three three together for a long time and have had a lot of success. And there's probably like some kind of qualifying tournament or something right. like that. I would imagine that so those I think guys. So they're have going won. with people that are used to the used to the format and doing that. But you're not wrong, Brian. I think they could win if they took, like, the guys uh, 13, 14, and 15 on Team USA would probably be good, too. But three-on-three, three, I think, will be a good sport at the Olympics. I think that would be fun to watch. Basketball is really, really popular at the Olympics. They should get in touch with uh, Ice Cube for the big three and yeah. kind of have, have him like, be, like, satellite 
make right. satellite tournaments. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we seem to run out of gas. Is that, is that it? Wait, is that I have it? another one. Oh, yeah, he, go, he didn't hit the what's hit, up, hit fool. Hit the what's up, fool. Oh, bad, Let's move. Bad. Let's get some momentum oh, here. <laughs> All right, guys. So full disclosure, I did this with the sh- uh, sit down on cap in the afternoon yesterday. Okay. But... I know that Morales gets a kick out of this, and I think Ireland does too. All right. So a 90s TV show drama that was based in L.A. is making a return with some familiar faces. Melrose Place is getting a reboot, and I want to know, are you guys in? Or it's like, nah, man, it was good when it was good. Leave it alone. Describe how it works. Is it the same people? Uh, Some people. So Heather Locklear is coming back. Then we also have Daphne Suniga and Laura Layton will reprise the roles. Um, alongside uh, Tiffany Grant, who will be producers. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. If you watch that show, maybe you'll care. I never, I, I did watch it, but it wasn't a great show by any means. Oh, now, Rose Place was a great show. It was not a great show. It was huge. I mean, I watched it, but it was not a great show. I oh, it was the best. Oh, it it was was everybody it was sleeping was with everybody. Yeah. It was, oh, it and was Mason, great. in your 20s, you weren't sleeping with all your neighbors? I wasn't. Not all of them. <laughs> well, good point. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, Melrose Place was great because I grew up, I, I was too young to probably watch Melrose Place, but my parents just let me. After 90210, it went right into Melrose Place on Wednesday nights. Right. For a long time, and then they changed it up. Melrose Place was great. And one of my greatest moments, thanks yep. to our friend Ron Mitchell, one of our MCs here, was when Thomas Calabro played Dr. Michael Mancini, was in the yeah, suite. He would, he would sleep with everybody. He slept with complex. everyone. Yeah. They tried to do this with 90210 a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, the reboot and of 90210. So that went on for like work. three seasons, the new 90. Yeah, it just bar- it did eh, not work. But it, it didn't, didn't work. Hit. didn't make and a I mark. I just feel like those types of things just don't end up working out. Yeah, stop stop going back and reviving old TV shows. Sex My in God. the City did that too. And it yeah, didn't well, Sex in the pain. City, and that was crap. I mean, honestly, just stop. Did you see what Ryan Gosling's new movie is? It looks really good. It's the well, Fall Guy. A, yeah, it's based on an old eighties TV show. Yeah, him and Emily Blunt. I think it looks. Yeah. I think it looks great. Yeah, I I would watch the new Melrose Place, Laura. Uh, the one thing I'll say is I hope they're not bringing all those women back as as the stars of the show because all those women are in their fifties. Oh yeah, you don't like women in their fifties? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you don't like you don't like women your age. No, women my age have their act together. We need train wrecks. <laughs> Lord. We, we need girls that are coming up, you know, like like the old Melrose Place. Sure. Yeah, that's what we need. So you need you need a whole new, you need like Melrose the next generation. No Correct. wonder you Melrose love the drive. Kardashians. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, she, oh, Kim, would, Kim would be perfect for that Melrose Place. Get her uh, in there. Coming up next for you, we will uh, dig back into Lakers versus Pelicans tonight. Should the Lakers win? Uh, will they win? Who do they face on Friday if they don't? All that stuff coming up next for you. Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. About all the incredible TV deals from Isaac and Roy and Mirror Audio Video for years. With the play-in tipping off in about an hour here, make sure that you make today the day you get the TV you deserve. Listen to this. We have for you today the lowest price ever on the incredible brand new Sony 85-inch 4K Ultra HD LED Smart Google TV. It's the X77L series, and it's unbelievable. Right now you can grab this 85-inch Sony, 85 inches, for a Mason and Ireland price that's so good it's only available for the first three listeners who call, get through, and buy right now. After three go, the deal is over and you missed it. Lowest price anywhere is fifteen hundred bucks. Right now we're going lower. Your price twelve forty nine. Twelve hundred forty nine bucks and it's yours. I just shaved two hundred and fifty bucks off the price. Want one? Call now. 310-234-4010. 310-234-4010. First three only get it for that price. 310-234-4010. Good luck from Mir Audio Video in Westwood.
220 on a live imaging Tuesday yeah. on Mason and Ireland. Let's go. You ready for a little Thunder Island sucker? Ready. That's going to happen at 3 o'clock. Nice. When we go to the Toyota Lakers countdown and tip off with Slee. At the, you smoothie, and I are gonna, the Smoothie Center. Well, he's not at the Smoothie Center. John is. But you and I are going to stick around. I'm going to show you a little Thunder Island move. Mm. It's going to be fun. I don't know what that even is. Just close hey, your Chris, eyes. Chris, yes. Jay Ferguson, right? Correct, Amundo. Did he have another hit? I don't think so. I think it was a one-hit wonder. Is this Yacht Rock? This is Yacht Rock. Yeah. I'm a big Yacht Rock guy. I now. know you are now. You are now. Brandy, you're a fine girl. Thank you. As yeah. Looking Glass said in 1973, I yeah. believe. Yeah. You like pina coladas. That's, yeah. Getting yeah. caught in the rain. Yeah. You I know, know that's, all these. That song's about a couple that tries to cheat on each other. Correct. And be- that's what, it's a very sad song. It is. That movie is, uh, that song is made to be really happy. It's actually a really sad song. These two people were desperately looking for other people. Right. And very aren't, sad. Aren't we all? Yeah. No, I, right. no. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Juan is looking to get me in the hot tub, but that's that is exactly. so untrue. <laughs> Meanwhile, are we doing something here? Yeah, we just... uh, yeah, we're gonna talk. Oh, I didn't know if we had a feature. Yeah, they pay no, us no top features. dollar to talk. The, that is true, actually. Yeah, no, we're in the talking business. I know. You know what I was doing last night, Ireland? What's that? Pumping iron. And now, how is that going? You know what? It's actually going really <laughs> well. Wait a minute, I was is pumping that, iron. Did you were you actually pump- lifting weights, or is that a euphemism? I was lifting oh. weights. Oh, okay. Serious did resistance you, training, yeah. Have you uh, <laughs> taken your before pictures yet? Yes. Okay. It's sad. Well, they are you- sad. It's a sad picture. Have you ever seen Tom Brady's picture when he came into the draft? He looks like almost weak. Yeah, I now. mean, I, I look pretty dumpy uh, in okay. the uh, before picture. But I'm telling you, the after, going to be unbelievable. Working my ass off to do it. Do you believe I'll do it, Ireland? I do not. Okay. Uh, do you what believe do you, I'll do them around? Do what? Uh, I'm g- for six months, I'm going to train my ass off. Then I'm going to sit here and do the show with my shirt off because I look so good. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I think you'll do it. You, but what's the goal? The like, goal is, is a to be... Goal? To no. look like a Hemsworth. Yeah, the oh. goal is to look oh, like so a So you want to be shredded. Correct. Shredded. That's a lot of work, Swole. man. That's a lot of work. What's your protein intake? Uh, pretty, uh, pretty high. Last night had okay. uh, chicken breast. Don't be... Why I didn't say a word. Had only chicken breast last night and okay. brown rice and broccoli. Okay. Those yeah. three things. That's but what I've been prescribed. But then did you, after you did that, did you get stoned? Yeah. Well, see, I think that's going to be counterproductive. Why? Because. I know it, how to control myself when I'm stoned. Uh, most people don't. Yeah, I do. I don't. I, I get the munchies, but I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. Like you right now, once, I'm definitely not going to do it. Is that a new development? Because you were once so bad, you made me take your Grubhub password away from you. I have gotten very, very disciplined. I'm getting even more disciplined now. Because like you I'm really to give me your Grubhub password today. Oh sure. You don't use it as much anymore. No, you can have okay. it. Wow. Yeah, you okay. can have my you can have my Postmates. You can have my Uber Eats. Whoa. You can have my DoorDash. You can have all wow. of them. Wow. Yeah. All right. Let's Don't see how it goes. Him. Don't need him. What are you going to do when uh, Bojangles comes to town? Oh, I'm so excited now, for that. I, don't, I saw there's a story. What is Bojangles? Big chicken place in the south. Is that it's right? It's delicious. Is I it had it once. a bunch of them here. What kind of chicken? Fried, fried chicken. Fried. Yeah. fried chicken. Just good fried chicken? Very yeah. good. Is it? Uh, does it rival Popeye's? I think it's better than Popeye's. Oh, I love Popeye's. The guy Popeye's. said it was better. I had a yesterday. So I saw the story. And they're in North Carolina. They're like a southern chain. Right. They're about to open 30 new locations around L.A. and oh, Southern California. Wow. So I'm excited, but I love the name Bojangles. Bojangles I, is I a great name. I say Bojangles. But I, I will be surprised if it uh, supplants uh, Popeye's as my f- favorite chicken place. But the point is you're going to sample it. Oh, of course I will. I went to Bojangles. But I see, just that's the thing. That. You're in good shape now. You're a good-looking gentleman. Thank you. Older gentleman. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I prefer just gentlemen. <laughs> if you're going to be shredded, shredded, the amount of ripped. work you have to put in. Yes, yeah, swole. Why? Because I want to look unbelievable on my 60th birthday, which is one year away. Don't you want to be able, you work really hard. You, you sure. do very well for yourself. Yes. You've done very well for yourself. Yes. Why not enjoy it at this point? Why Why not? Why work so hard to get shredded? You turn 60 and then you get hit by a bus. Oh, what was, mean, it, was it all worth it? I'm ready for Iron Man 5, Tony Stark 2. Why? Seriously, I'm going to do it. Because. Well, I always tell Cappy when Cappy goes, oh, I'm disgusting. Who cares? Enjoy life. Most people, 99.9% couldn't do what we do. Why are we trying to be you know, cut up like actors that get paid hundreds of millions of dollars to do movies? It's, we don't need to. Yeah. Hey, Mace, if, if. Yep. You're getting good results, but not great. Mm -hmm. Will you go full A. Martinez and start taking steroids? Absolutely. (laughs) 
<laughs> I will absolutely shoot me up. But what happens if it affects, you know, other things? Uh, the, does it affect other that, things? Ireland, does it affect other things? A says, A Martinez, our old friend who now runs NPR, says it does not. Oh, says okay. that that is a myth. So oh. I will not lose any of my speed on the fastball drive what a says <laughs> is that you will you will Im- enhance it oh, oh nice. nice oh my god the other one i'm going to do is creatine well that's fine oh that's good yeah. creatine, creatine. Th- you Christian, just gotta Christian drink a lot of all. water though it, that's what mark mcguire got in yeah. trouble for is it but that was back is in it the okay day. now is creatine i don't want to okay? talk about the past <laughs> yeah there you go mark <laughs> there you go mark all right so tonight john are you nervous about tonight I'm not, Mm. because I think I'm in a can't-lose situation. And by the way, as we speak, I'm watching LeBron shoot logo threes. Nice. And he's knocking them down left and right. So LeBron's into this. Good. Uh, No, but Mace, if we lose, then your plan kicks into place. Correct. In other words, we play Friday, hopefully win, and get a better draw with Oklahoma City. I'm hoping we win because I think having four or five days off is more beneficial to the Lakers than having to play again on Friday. They would have to play Denver. But uh, Amanda Brown has already hit Michael and I up demanding free dinner this weekend. Oh, nice. And I, I hope that we have an opportunity to do that for her. Um, you know, on, on Cut right now, you know the app Cut, K-U-T-T? Yeah. That uh, me and Bergman yeah, and have been gambling Bergman on. on it like Are you every doing day. better? Uh, I lost three baseball games last night. But I am on three games today. Uh, I'm First of all, I'm on the Lakers Plus one. I'm on Golden State minus three and a half. Like both of those. Uh, I'm on San Diego on the money line against the Brewers. Dylan Cease is pitching, and you I'm on the Dodgers the minus Padres. one and a They're half. They're our mortal enemy. Yeah, I know, but I, I'm I'm into making money, man. I'm into you're making in. money on the Cut app. And and so you're betting on Manny Machado. I hope he doesn't have to run out any grounders. Yeah, that's not his jam. Not his cup of tea, as they say. I'm not Johnny Hustle. Exactly. Is what Manny wants. Uh, By the way, if you want to download the Cut app, you should do it. K-U-T-T. Um, for a, enter uh, ESPN LA for a 10% deposit bonus, and then make sure you join the ESPN LA social group. I send all my bets there. Bergman spend, uh, sends all his bets there, and we've got a lot of fun uh, doing actual real-life uh, peer-to-peer betting. So it's the only way you can actually bet, technically, I think, in California right now. I think that's right. Greg's pretty good at it. Greg is actually better than me. <laughs> Greg, have you made money or have you just broken even? Greg has made money. Okay. Yeah. Greg? I am up about a hundred and ten dollars. Very good. Dollars. It's better very being good. down. It yeah, absolutely. It's all funny money for me right now. Uh, I am down. Oh, I'm Ooh. down a hundred and twenty. Ooh. So you Down basically have just taken all your oh. losses and given the money to Greg. Yeah, Unfortunately, pretty much. I was so good in the NCAA tournament. I was like eleven and three betting games in the NCAA tournament. Baseball is killing me. Just now, you were six and one yesterday. I know. I know. What I lost now? three games last night. <laughs> <laughs> what lost have you done three. for me lately? Yeah. That's the motto of the cut app. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, come I got up. the over, by the way, on the Lakers. On the Lakers, yeah. I've got What's some, the number. Two twenty-four and a half. Oh, I like that. You're gonna. I think you're gonna hit that. Yeah, that's a it's it's too low for the, for the Lakers and Pelicans. Yeah. All right, uh, coming up next for you, we'll touch on this: the uh, pitching injuries in Major League Baseball. Do you want to do that, or do you want to save it for tomorrow? Pitching to injuries in Major I'm League good, Baseball. No, no, save, save, save that for tomorrow. Sounds so kind of wonky, do doesn't it? Look at Morales. Morales. You guys are just saving content. Yeah, we have content yeah. saved. Content for days. This is the thing. I, we have so much content. That's the thing about our show. Don't Massive you think tomorrow content. we're going to be reacting to the game? Oh, sure, but there's other... Uh, look at you. You come in here and do all kinds of stuff. But we still there's react a lot to the stu- game. Of course we react to the game, but there's other stuff, too. What was the thing you're going to save till tomorrow? Uh, all the pitching injuries. Yeah, that's a better thing for tomorrow. That's a good, that's a good tomorrow. Ireland, you know it. That's a better thing for tomorrow. Yeah. Fine by me. All right. Yeah, we'll hold that till tomorrow. Why do you think there's so oh, many pitching injuries? Okay, I'll, I'll throw this out there next. <laughs> do you think? What time do you think you're going to do that tomorrow? Uh, I want to listen. 2.15. 2.15 tomorrow. 2.15. I'm holding you to injuries. that. I want to hear 2.15 pitching injuries okay, tomorrow. It's absolutely I want to know happen. why Clayton Kershaw's arm isn't going to make it, even though he doesn't start He's till August. It. He'll make it. I'm just going to take pitching a little time. Pitching injuries, too. So that should be in the Wookiee promo. He's right on And path. at 2.15, we'll talk pitching injuries. Hi, <laughs> Morales. Boy, you come up with content, and you get mocked for it around here. That's ridiculous. Uh, all right, uh, coming up next for you, uh, we'll, uh, I got a n- cool story, Ireland, about a brand-new biopic that they're making right now that is perfect. It biopic. is perfect. 
It's a biopic. No, it's a biopic. There's no such word as biopic. Biopic is not a word. All right. Hey, if you get into an accident with a commercial van or a truck or an 18-wheeler, you should not try to deal with the insurance company on your own. Believe me, last thing you want to do is accept the first offer they call you with. Those commercial drivers have got special licenses to operate those vehicles, and they also have to log their daily activity with their employer. So if you're injured in an accident caused by an 18-wheeler, a commercial vehicle, you got to call Jacob. Uh, my friend Jacob and his team know what to look for, whether the driver— Are you guys just having a full conversation while I'm talking about Jacob? Our mics aren't on. I can, but I can hear you. No, you can see us. I can hear you. You know what? I was going to wait till after John does. My iPod, friend but... Jacob and his team know what to look for, whether the driver has driven too long without a break or, you know what? Just call Jacob. Just just call him. If you're in an accident, I don't know why you wouldn't call Jacob and Ronnie. I've been talking about him for years. A lot of attorneys say they'll fight for you. Call Jacob. He'll win for you. 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. 844-24-JACOB. Or remember. Accident. Or injury, call Jacob and Ronnie, call Jacob. And don't forget, you're following Call Jacob on Instagram. Go to at call.jacob for great advice and prizes and more. Ireland, what do you got? Ice spot active. If you lift heavy equipment or you deliver boxes, if you work in an office all day and sit in a chair, you get up, your back hurts, you got to try ice spot active. If you play tennis, soccer, pickleball, golf, basketball, if you're a runner, you have sore knees or shins, try this wearable cryotherapy iSpot Active makes stylish, form-fitted compression wear with pockets that fit flexible, ice-cold gel packs. They call them flex pods because they're rubbery and they fit around your joints. Everybody I've turned on to this loves it and uses it daily. It's a great tool to keep you doing what you love pain-free. Go to iSpotActive.com. Get yours today. iSpotActive.com. You go to that website, you'll see James Worthy, one of the owners of the company and a true believer. I use this stuff daily. Get yours before they run out. Icebot Active, I C E B O D Active dot com. Icebot Active, Icebot Active dot com. What do you want? Two thirty two on a live imaging Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Don't forget tomorrow at this time we're going to talk <laughs> pitching injuries. Pitching Seven ten ESPN. Hey.
Oh, yeah. My favorite thing. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty Who great. Who says no? No, nobody. Yeah, but exactly. I wasn't it's, offering. It's a wonderful. Well, it sounded like you were offering. I was just making conversation. <laughs> oh, really? 25 <laughs> minutes in front did. of 3 o'clock. Very, on a, very strange sentence. On a Lakers play in Tuesday, made possible by our friends at Mikko Baltra. 2.6 carbs, 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Maybe after a few make a ball, I'll you would enjoy it. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> you would you would have fun. The with Toyota it. Lakers countdown is coming up at three o'clock with Sliwa. Four thirty p.m. You'll hear John and Michael with the play-by-play Lakers Pelicans, the seven-eight play-in game from New Orleans. Hear it on seven ten a.m. or in crystal clear digital audio on the all-new ESPN LA app. Can I give you guys an update from uh, the Smoothie King Center? Do it. Anthony Davis, who is listed as questionable, is warming up as we speak, and he is moving. Very, very well. Good. I mean, like, it looks like he has zero issues. That's great. I would great. now be shocked if he does not play. He said that there was no chance he was missing this game yeah, anyway. He looks totally normal to me. Good. So but tonight we get Lakers at full shots. strength. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what I want to do right here? What's that? I want to talk about uh, my partnership with the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. So there are times when you struggle, when you're having a hard time. Your relationship is is not going right or you're overwhelmed at work or whatever that is. Believe me, you can always call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. They've got a 24-7 helpline at 800-854-7771. You can also visit their website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Your mental health is their priority. Let them be your support on this journey. Together, let's shake a brighter tomorrow with hope and recovery and well-being. So, um, well-being, John, if they win tonight, will the Lakers have any well-being about to take on Denver? Yeah, I I know you don't think they can beat Denver, and I think a lot of fans share your view, but they don't believe that. They honestly, like, if you talk to them, if you put these guys on a lie detector test, yeah, they think they can beat the Nuggets. Right, right. So, so they're I mean, all they're all laughing at me, John. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Your move the movement from well being to the Lakers well being. <laughs> it was very clunky. Yeah, it was clunky. It wasn't the best. I but. disagree. I think that they 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 that was seamless. It was. I, a, a, I thought it was pretty good, frankly. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot too. of mockery in this room. A lot of mockery. <laughs> Either way, they can be. Mace, you're in the arena. They're not in the arena. It's exactly. Easy for the people outside the arena to mock you. Well, sometimes Correct. on Tuesdays, once a month, I get in the arena. If that's what we're talking about. Yeah. But that's, exactly. Sure. Well, by the way, why do you go to the Reddit page? I don't. Oh, you don't anymore? So, I don't because, well, I, you, I never Does went to it. Does it hurt your feelings? No, I love it. First of all, well, you know me. You have if, no feelings. If, a, I have no feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and if they're talking about me, I love it. Yeah. But I used to have some insiders. One of them just vanished, but yeah. then one has been suspended. Oh, really? From the Reddit page. Apparently, by, he, by How do who? you get suspended by who Reddit? The because he used to attack the people there. There was one person especially who went after Greg very hard. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. So, yeah, that was he, bad. Apparently, they don't like it when you come after them, so they got he got suspended, so he doesn't send me any intel. God, how do you get... you got to be pretty bad to get suspended from Reddit. Well, no, I think There's he was so just, much crap in there. He was always standing up for myself and Greg and Sedano. And, Good for but him. But he also went after people. Oh, so he did both. So yeah, he yeah. got a little. Yeah, I've ne- you know what's weird? I've never been there. That's you not talk true. About it all the time, never been there. But that's not true. It is. Well, I mean, I started, but then I left. <laughs> right. <laughs> then I totally you was s- out. This is a different one. You started one, got rid of it. And this was one that was already in, in there. Brian, play right that lit. Uh, it says uh, lit uh, most hated. Let's play that one lit more time. Lit most hated. Just for them. Oh Just... yeah, we know who the answer to that question is. Yeah, let's play it one more time. Who's Why the not? most hated? It's a live imaging Tuesday on Seven Ten ESPN. And now, the man most hated on the Mason and Ireland Reddit page. They've been obsessed with like no other since 2022. Here's Chris Morales. So for Mandy's three, should we have a most hated award? Well, I think you would yes. win. You would no, win that. But, but okay, I don't think the Redditors would actually vote for me. Because even though they voted on their Reddit they page, they wouldn't I'm want most... you to win an award exactly. for being bad. So right. do they vote for Corporate Greg instead yes. of me? Or yes. Shidano? Or Cappy? Or Lindsay? I mean, Ireland has I a shot. I think Lindsay a shot want to be dominant. Yeah, no. I do. I, a lot of people are down on me and Laura. They tag team Laura. And That's I. ridiculous. There's nothing to be down on Laura for. Yeah, oh, Laura. You know what? People hate me. It's okay. She's only been here. But a you, Laura, of days. you know what I'm, ta- you know what I'm <laughs> talking about, right? Yeah, like for me, it's I like think it's one guy. Well, that and like, dude, I finally blocked him because I'm like, whatever, dude. I don't have time. Yeah, for I'm your gonna start about. doing that. If you want to get blocked by me, make That's, fun of Laura. That's the first person like I blocked, but I honestly don't care. 
I it's your no offense, but y'all's fans are a little something else. Right? Because yeah. Travis yeah, and Slee fans love me and the cot loves me. But for whatever reason, the people that listen to this that are just y'all's fans, exactly. I'm like, listen, I can I can uh, assume that there's reasons why y'all don't like me, and that's okay. Look, but, oh, I, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, Is that the same reasons they don't like me? Because we're younger? I, no. Or, oh, 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 Chris, yeah. you're not younger. I've been on the show for, hey, eight, for eight years. It's always been this way. Everybody, the Reddit and all those people, they love Mason. Oh boy! And well, everybody great. else they does should. not actually. I, they not love on, on Ireland. The same level. No, they don't. There are there are a lot that love Ireland, but it's but it's they mostly. They turn on me. Ireland quick. Ireland's far more <laughs> credible than I am. He is. Yeah, but they don't want credible. Oh, they just want yeah. screwing around. Yeah. That's why they love Cappy. John and I are He's very wacky. similar too, though. Like yeah. our personalities are very similar. So I tease same this. Birthday. I tease yeah. this July one 15th. thing. I tease yep. this one thing, and I want to get to it. Uh, John, you'll like this. There's a you're a big SNL guy. Yeah. Uh, Chris Farley. Uh, who tragically passed away? They're making yeah. a biopic of him. No way! And it Boy, is it'll going be hard to, to. It'll be hard to cast him. They found it. the perfect guy. Google Paul Walter Hauser, who is he played Richard Jewell. Uh, oh, okay, I know yeah. exactly who he is. Yeah, yeah. He was on uh, what was the Karate Kid show? What's the, it's uh, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is on that. Um, he was in a show called Blackbird. He won the Emmy for. He is great, and he looks. After party have on they, Apple, have they he's on started that too. filming? Uh, no, they just announced it. They just okay. announced it. But that I think that's a perfect piece of casting for Chris Farley, and he deserves a movie. I'm seeing that one because that's amazing. I loved Chris Farley growing up. Tommy Boy, Black oh, Sheep. Yeah. Oh, Tommy Boy's great. Hey, I know we got to get to Van down by the I know river. We got to yeah. get to Game of Games. But did any of you watch SNL this past weekend yes. with Ryan Gosling? Yeah. Nope. I love the fact that nobody in any of those skits could hold it. They all broke character because they were laughing so hard. See, I think that's I, – I did not like that. I uh, like a little breaking of Phoebus character. The Phoebus and Butthead sketch to me was perfect. When Heidi Gardner turned around and saw what those guys were dressed like, and she just lost it. She couldn't keep going anymore. I you think can, it's unprofessional. You know Lauren loves it, right? Yeah. He, I don't know he that he loves lo- You he think does. he loves he when they break? If people have talked – Jimmy Fallon has talked about it all the time because he broke all the time. Right. Yeah, see, I think it's unprofessional. If you're one in a character, most, you stay in character. Okay, one of the most famous... <laughs> it's live, break, dummy. You know, one of the most <laughs> famous breakings of SNL, one of the first ones I ever remember, was a Chris Farley skit. He was doing Matt Foley motivational speaker. <laughs> yep, living in a van and, down by the river. David yeah, Spade. And, and David Spade and Christina Applegate were, were playing young kids who he came in. Matt Foley came in to lecture the young kids. And Applegate and Spade could not stop laughing. And Farley never broke character. He just kept yelling at him. You're going to be living in a van <laughs> down by the river. That was such a good character. government cheese. And yeah. those two could not stop laughing, and it was great. Because Very if unprofessional. Home, Very unprofessional. Laughing. Yeah, screw unprofessional. Yeah. I want funny. I want professional. By the way, I did a morning show this morning. People. Yeah. Which means I might need a nap. Did so I might good? have to go to Cappy's room over the East Central Hotel. I walk in. I said, tell me where the Cappy, the Scott Cappy. Is he Kaplan, back in 809? Probably. The yeah. honeymoon suite is. Yeah. And it's going to be a large room. You know why? Because hmm. at East Largest Central Hotel. Largest rooms in the city. Largest rooms in downtown L.A. That's right, Johnny. I, you and I could get into a lot of trouble in that room. With, God with, bless uh, us. with other people, of course. Yes. Because so. at East Central, they believe in entertainment. <laughs> <Yes>. The <laughs> East Central Hotel in downtown Los Angeles, right across from L.A. Live, right across from Crypto.com Arena. You could party at the Nixo Lounge. You could have the beautiful flatbread over there. Get a cocktail. Mm. Bam! Bam. Just have like that. Have a fun Tuesday night. Yep. The East it, Central Hotel. Book your next day at eCentralHotel.com or give them a call. 213-748-1291. 213-748-1291. East Central Hotel in downtown L.A. Entertainment. All right, Chris. Up. You know what you should do before you go to the East Central Hotel? What? Stop at Ralph's and pick up some BB Go. Oh, oh beautiful. BB Go is the official game day snack of the Lakers. Mouthwatering mm. Korean snacks and meals in minutes. You can keep your freezer stocked with BB Go, like me and Bergman, for a delicious meal in minutes. Minimum effort, maximum flavor, available not only at Ralph's, but all major grocery stores in the freezer aisle. BB Go Mandu, largest, juiciest dumplings in the market. Every day is the day to live delicious with BB Go, the official game day snack of the Lakers. Hey, it's Travis Slee, and did you...
ESPN. ESPN. And it is time for Game of Games on the number one sports radio show in L.A., Mason and Ireland. Game of Games. Game of Games presented by CallJacob.com. Call Jacob. Everyone loves a fighter, but in this town, winning matters, especially after an accident. So remember, anyone can fight, but CallJacob.com is here for you when you need a big win. After an accident, go to CallJacob.com or call 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. We got the jingle. Call Jacob. Thank you. Game of Games time. Take it away, Mace. All right, here we go. It is Game of Games time. We welcome to the show the great Jacob Imrani. Jacob, how you feeling? I am feeling great. How are you? Good, good, man. Now, you feel like a win today? Oh, absolutely. Both for me and the Lakers. All right. Call oh, I like the, it, Jacob. Call like it for two confidence. wins. I feel like Jacob's going to win, too. It's, Thank you. Uh, he, he could. always come he could. in second. All right, let me get right to it. <laughs> yes, we, uh, yes, since we're right since, up against it. Yeah, all right. The NBA playing tournament starts today, so I have a quiz about the tournament. It's multiple choice. Here we go. Question one. In what year did the NBA play-in tournament start? A, 2018, B, 2019, C, 2020. Brian, 18, 19, or 20? Uh, 20. Greg? Uh, 19. Laura? 19. Mace? 19. Jacob? I believe it was 20. It is 20. Jacob oh! and Brian are on the board. It started as a result of the COVID season. Yes. Oh, it was. It yes. started with the COVID right. season. Wow. I thought it was one right. year prior. Eh. Number two. The format in which the seventh seed plays eight and then nine plays ten with the seven, eight teams getting two chances to advance is called the McIntyre system. Who is McIntyre? A, a former NBA PR executive who came up with the idea. B, a lawyer who came up with it back in the 1930s. Or C, an MIT mathematics professor who invented it as part of a class project. Greg, former PR exec, lawyer, or math professor? I don't know why you do the 19th, uh, 1930s guy. Okay, Laura. PR. PR guy. Mace. PR. Uh, Jacob. I'm going to go with A. PR. <laughs> PR. Uh, Brian. I'm going to go with the MIT math guy. Greg is the only one who hey. sniffed it out. Yeah, oh, yeah. It was an Australian lawyer in the 1930s. I don't know why I would have put 1930s in there for other than that. Well, but, uh, that Greg, was the only reason the 1930s. Yeah, Greg's got the lead. Okay. All right, here we go. No, tied. Tied. I didn't get the first one. Oh, so you've got one. Well, I've got one. Jacob won. Okay. Brian won. There you go. Okay. Which one of these teams has never played in the play-in tournament? A, Celtics. B, Hornets. C, Knicks. Laura, Celtics, Hornets, or Knicks? Uh, fudge. Knicks. <laughs> All right. Ma- Mace. I Celtics, think Hornets, or Knicks? Feels like it's got to be Celtics. Okay, Jacob. Celtics. Brian. Celtics. Greg. I'm pretty sure it is the Celtics. Laura Romo's the other one who got oh, it. The Knicks, Knicks have never played in the play-in tournament. Wow. Yeah. wow. I thought they Celtics. were all either out or in, like, the top. Yeah. Okay. So, Brian won, Greg won, Laura won, Jacob won, Mace yet to scratch. <laughs> Oh, I got a chance. (laughs) Mace, you go first on this one. Okay, got it. Since the NBA adopted the current play-in format in 2021, there have been six number 10 seeds, three in the East, three in the West. How many times has the 10 seed advanced to make it into the first round? A, zero, B, once, C, twice. Zero once or twice, Mace. I'm going twice. Jacob. I'm going once. Brian. I'm going zero. Greg. I'm going zero, too. Laura. I am also going zero. Zero is the correct answer. Brian, Greg, Greg. and Laura. No 10 has ever made it. So if the Warriors make it this year, it'd be the first one to ever do, do it. Do I have a shot at, so it's, it's, at a full Romo? It's Greg, two, it's gonna Brian, be the two, Laura, two, you Jacob, do, Mace, one. But there Mace are four zero. questions left, okay. time permitting. Oh, well, yeah, time permitting. Okay, here we go. Quick. How many points per game is LeBron averaging in the play-in tournament for his career? A, 18, B, 26, C, 32. Jacob, 18, 26, or 32? 26. Brian? 32. Greg? 32. Laura? 26. Mace? 18. <laughs> the answer is 26. Yeah! Yeah! Laura has the lead, and Mace is still alive for the Romo. Nice. Tra- he wants the Romo. It will be the, ma- it'll it will be the, the Mason. Mason. Yeah. All right, here we go. Well, Brian, back to you on this one. When the Lakers won their first ever playing game in 2021, Anthony Davis led L.A. in scoring with 25 points. LeBron had 22. Who was the Lakers' third leading scorer in that game? A, Kyle Kuzma, 
B, Contavious Caldwell Pope, or C, Alex Caruso? Brian Coos, Caldwell Pope, or Caruso? I'm going to go Kuzma. Bri- uh, Greg? KCP. Laura? KCP. Mace? I, w- I will go KCP also. Jacob? KCP. The answer is Alex Caruso. Yeah, nobody. Oh. 14 points. Nobody you were going to go Alex Caruso. I was going to go Caruso, <laughs> too, yeah. I had right, still a shot. Still, Laura still has the lead. There are two left in a tiebreaker, so Laura goes first. Mace Three minutes out. left. Three minutes okay, left. Here we You're go. Out, but just you only out, can get but the, in. Yeah, yeah but he's, get in, the, he's in for yeah. the Romo. Yeah. All right, here we go. In last season's play-in game, Laura, the Lakers beat Minnesota in overtime. In that game, Wolves star Anthony Edwards attempted 17 shots. How many of those shots did Edwards make? A three, B six, C nine, three mm. six or nine. Laura. Six. Uh, Mace. Uh, let's go three. Okay, uh, Jacob. Nine. Brian. I kind of like three here. Greg. I think it is three. It is three. Oh, oh, my gosh. Mace. No. Mace is out. Brian. Uh, everybody else is still in three-way tie between Brian, Greg, and Laura. Jacob's one back, so he gets to go last. Two and here a half. We go. Two and a half minutes. I got you. All right. This player has scored 90 points over his career in the play-in tournament more than any other player. Is it A, Steph Curry, B, Ja Morant, or C, Damian Lillard? Steph, Ja, or Dame? Brian. Uh, Let's go Dame Lillard. Greg. Steph. Laura. Steph. Jacob. You got to go different. I got to go different than all of them? Yeah. Yeah, you you got to go. You should go Ja. Okay, Ja. That might be right. Ja is right. Yeah. <laughs> Four way okay. tie. Here's the tiebreaker. Oh, it's tiebreaker time. Oh, we gotta, okay. We gotta write stuff down. Brian three, Greg three, Laura three, Jacob three. This will decide it. Right to get something to write with. Get something to write on. All we right, do. We do. got it. All right. Jason Tatum holds the record for most points scored in any one play-in game. How many points did Tatum score in that one game? Closest wins. Okay, closest. All right, everybody got a number. Wrote a number down. You're allowed yep. to go over. All right. Closest. Yeah, closest. Greg, what'd you write? 47. Laura, Damn! What'd you, Laura, what'd you write? 45. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jacob, what'd you write? 58. Brian, what'd you 44. write? 44. We have a winner. And that winner is Greg Burke. Yes! Oh! 47 oh! is 50. Oh, 50. I'm so oh, bad. Oh. <laughs> when he oh, said boy. it, I was like, You Darn. were close. You went too oh, high. Just, <laughs> went too just high. missed it. Just Greg, missed hey. it. Greg, does that give you two? Are two. You tied yeah. Me? yeah. Uh, okay. okay, one minute left, Jacob. Uh, tell me what you expect tonight. I'm expecting for them to come out, sense of urgency, play hard from the beginning, jump all over them, do not show any type of weakness. Put Sweep them out the leg, early. Jacob. That's it. Sweep, Sweep the it. leg. Put the him leg. in a body Sweep bag. Sweep it. <laughs> right? And hopefully, hopefully we have LeBron and AD resting towards the end of the fourth period. Right. Hell yeah. All like right. It. I like your attitude. And remember, don't be afraid of the Nuggets. You want them early. Yes, that's you right. want them early before they get a I don't, I don't the want The Mason them. plan sucks unless the Lakers lose, and then I will fully adopt exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> if they lose tonight, you're all you're in on the Mason right. plan. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> all right. Uh, don't forget, Game of Games is brought to you by Jacob and Ronnie. And uh, if you are in trouble with an accident, call 844-24-JACOB or remember, call Jacob.com. All right. There you have it. A little short Mason and Ireland show today. Coming up next for you is Alan Sliwa with the pre-Lakers. New Orleans playoff back.